Hello everybody. In this lesson I will discuss the very important topic of timelines in financial maths. When dealing with timelines in financial maths, my advice to you is to first read through the question and then make a little summary of what is going on and make sure you understand what this is all about. Now let's see. Barfi is planning for university and decides to put her money into a fixed deposit paying 10% per annum compounded annually. So already I'm going to underline all the important little bits there. She starts her savings with a thousand rand. After three years, she deposits another four thousand rand. A final deposit of eight thousand rand is made eight years after the initial deposit. How much money is accumulated in the fixed deposit at the end of ten years? Now, let's make the summary, but we will read through the question again. Balfi is planning for university and decides to put her money into a fixed deposit paying 10% per annum. Oh, there's an important bit, compounded annually. So now you will see that the rate is 10% compounded annually and that's the parabola picture there and that means it's for the whole timeline. She starts her saving with a thousand rand. So there we start with P a thousand rand. After three years, these three years, she deposits another four thousand rand. So now there on the dotted line you will find the four thousand rand. A final deposit of eight thousand rand, there's the other eight thousand rand is made eight years after the initial deposit. So that implies that the middle block, the time, is five years. How much money is accumulated in the fixed deposit at the end of ten years? So that means the last little bit of our information, the last block there, is then two years. Now let's see. We will start with the P is a thousand rand and then into the formula A equals P bracket 1 plus I to the power of N because the question specifically said it was compounded annually. Compounded, that's what I'm um, emphasizing there. So in P's place a thousand bracket one plus and then the I the rate is 10% over the whole timeline. Therefore our I is 0, 0,1 and the time now is three years so it's raised to the power of three. And then if you slot that into your calculator A is 1331 rand. Then the 4,000 Rand was deposited. So now, the second part of our timeline, we will start with the P. Now, this 1,300 is from the answer from the previous sum, plus the 4,000, and therefore P's value is 5,331. Into the compound formula, a equals P bracket 1 plus I to the power of N. Now the P is 5,331 Rand bracket 1 plus the I, the rate is 10% for the whole time, therefore it's 0, 0,1 and the time here is 5, raised to the 5. And when we slot that into the calculator, A is 8,585 Rand and 63 cents. Then another 8,000 Rand was deposited. Therefore, P is the answer from the previous sum, this 8,585 Rand plus the 8,000 Rand deposited. And now the new P is 16,585 Rand and 63 cents. 
Then into the formula, A is equal to P bracket 1 plus I to the N. The P is the 16,585 rand bracket 1 plus the R is 10%, therefore I is 0, 0,1 and this is for two years. And you slot that into your calculator and then you will see the money accumulated in the fixed deposit at the end of the 10 years will be 20,068 rand and 61 cents. In the next video, I will discuss more timelines. Click on the video in the left-hand corner to take you straight there.